Today we're headed out to source a few Walmarts in the local area around Nashville. They're all urban Walmarts, which I've said before can be hit or miss. Um, but my past two big Walmart scores have been from urban Walmarts, so I figure why not give it a shot. Um, today around three o'clock after I get done sourcing, um, my employees come into the office to help me package up some stuff to send out to FBA for my last shipment before I have to leave out on tour on Friday. So anyway, I am outsourcing today. I'm gonna take you guys with me and hopefully we find a bunch of stuff. Stay tuned. done here at my first Walmart of the day as you can see and I already hit my spin goal which is awesome my goal is 500 and I don't normally do it this way but this is the way I did it right now and uh, so I bought a HP gaming laptop right there as you can see and um, that's one way to do it I mean I'm only gonna make it like a hundred dollars on it but I spent 525 on it it's selling for around 700 I'll probably make 100 to 110 on it. But hey, I hit my spin goal right out the gate. Uh, I also bought probably another $70 worth of makeup and toys and stuff that'll make me another, oh, I don't know, 100 or uh, so dollars profit probably. Um, so all around a pretty good first stop. Hey there. Anyway, <laughs> all around a pretty good first stop and uh, we're gonna head on to the next one. All right guys, round two. Uh, it was a pretty good Walmart overall. Spent 260 in there, uh, which, you know, if I hadn't spent 500 at that first Walmart, would have put me substantially closer to meeting my goal. I still got a couple more Walmarts to go, and uh, I think we might be able to spend over a thousand a day pretty easily, which is always a good day. Um, anyway, yeah, it's set attainable goals, uh, and we're gonna talk more about goals here in a second when I get back in the car. Hey guys, I just wanted to talk real quick about goal setting. Uh, it's something that's become really important to me in recent years and it's a major part of my success uh, especially on Amazon FBA and reselling online uh, if you go out without a goal you're gonna have results but they're not gonna be consistent and they're especially not going to be consistent with a larger plan if you're starting this business to say quit your full-time job or come home spend more time with the family etc you need to write those goals down and those need to be like your long-term goals. But you need what I call three types of goals, short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals. Short-term goals are like today. My goal right here is spend $500 today. I've already done that today. So I've hit my one-day goal. That's something that's going to move me closer to my mid-term and long-term goals today. Something I can do right now that's gonna take that step. Your mid-term goals should be things that you can accomplish within a week to two to three weeks tops. So for example, right now I'm working on uh, reestablishing my business in the state of Tennessee. That's something I wanna have done within the next couple of weeks and it will take about that long for it to happen. It takes that long to get the paperwork back and everything uh, and get everything finalized. So, you know, that'd be a midterm goal for me. And a long-term goal is by July or August of this year, I want to be making my first five to $10,000 worth of orders in wholesale. Um, and you know, putting this out there makes me have to do it because I'm, you know, putting it out into the world. So it holds me accountable. But anyway, that's just a little bit about goal setting and especially in your short, short term goals, set attainable goals. Don't, you know, don't go out expecting to just blow it out of the water every day. Set an attainable goal because once you meet that goal, that little feeling of winning is really going to you know, thrust you forward to be able to meet your midterm goals. And your midterm goals, once they're completed, are going to thrust you forward to complete those major goals, the big things that you want to do. So set attainable goals, set them daily, set them weekly, set them monthly and yearly, and even set giant goals for five and 10 years. If you know what you want that far down the road, you set those goals, write them down, because I've heard it said many times before, the only thing you're gonna regret is that you shot your goal too low. So anyway, that's just a little bit about goal setting and uh, why I think it's important. So I'm gonna head on down to the next Walmart. I've got two more left and we're gonna see what we come up with. Okay, 
Okay, third Walmart down. Just spent $286 on this Walmart. That puts us over $1,100 on the day spent. I'd like to reach $1,400, and we have one Walmart left, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, stick around for the ride. At this Walmart, I bought some like deer feeders like for hunting. Uh, I bought some batteries. I bought... I'm trying to think what all I bought. I bought some candy to resell, not eat, because, you know, diet and health goals and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I bought. I bought some, oh, I bought a, you know, a Chia Pet, like the, from Stranger Things, the kid Dustin with the teeth. I bought his Chia Pet. I'm trying to think a couple other things I bought. I don't know. But anyway, one thing I did want to mention is across the board, this is all clearance product. 99% of it is on clearance. So just so you know where to be looking, that's, that's the kind of stuff I'm buying, clearance product. And I'm going to keep harping on that in the future. So anyway, stick around for the last Walmart. guys that was the last walmart of the day and it was kind of a bust but that's okay i spent uh let's see i think i spent 37 dollars. wow uh sometimes you just can't win you know but it's okay i won all day long you can't hit a home run every time you get up to bat so anyway um yeah last walmart spent 37 dollars, but we'll make pretty good profit on that little money i spent uh some of that does include like 10 large boxes for shipping tonight. Uh, anyway, that's a pretty great day sourcing. I think in total I added up, it was like 1174 or something like that spent. And um, I'm gonna input that inventory first tonight whenever we're working on our shipment. And I will give you guys an updated number at the end as to how much we made today. So anyway, stay tuned. Finally finished sourcing for the day and I'm over here at the office and uh, I am pretty excited to show it to you guys. This has been a long time in the making for me. I, uh, I know it's not much, uh, but for the first time ever it's out of my house. <laughs> and since the size of it is not giant, it actually forces me to get product out, which has been a odd bonus to having a smaller workspace. But let me tell you what, this is one super affordable. Uh, there are options out there guys. You can find something if you need to get this out of your house There are options out there. Anyway, it was super affordable. I have Xfinity internet So I have internet here electric was included uh, and it's just a great workspace all around and uh, yeah, I'll take you take you in there now So here we are <laughs> It looks a lot like a storage unit kind of but it's my warehouse. It's where I work so um, Let's see here so over there, you've got a couple of desks that I built. Built those with my hands, which I'm not very good at, but I did it and they're awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, got the Mac back there and the printer and the Dymos and the label printers and all that stuff. And then uh, we got a little heater down there and I've got two shelves of product right there that are just jam packed full of stuff. Uh, I've already got some product on the floor that I'm gonna be sourcing through today. Uh, creating some listings and stuff and um, anyway yeah this is a uh, this is the workstation and my guy's on his way over here and we're gonna get started working on some stuff I'll introduce you guys to him so you know him in the future and yeah so we're gonna get started on today's shipment and this is the workspace so big reveal for me I've never shown anybody before and uh, yeah we're gonna get at it all right guys we are uh, getting started on our shipment here this is Campbell Campbell say hi hey what's up hi Campbell. Anyway, uh, I just want to introduce you guys, introduce you guys to him, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be working on a shipment, getting ready to put out some boxes tonight, and I'm ready to be done with it already, yeah. so we're going to work <laughs> on it now. Catch you later. All right, guys, here we are at the end of the day. It is 8 o'clock. I've been going since 6 o'clock this morning, 6.30 this morning, something like that, and uh, we officially have all the boxes packed. My trailblazer is full all the way back. Um, and I had the final numbers for today's shipment, the stuff I went out and found this afternoon that you went around, along on the ride with me for. And uh, the numbers are, I spent 1,077. There were some items out of that 1,100 I told you that actually I couldn't sell. They were like, ended up being restricted and stuff, but spent 1,077. Uh, that will turn into $2,387 in sales volume. 
and after all my expenses and cost of goods sold and all that stuff, I will get back on my original investment $615. So about $5 less than the last vlog, even though I spent a little more to get it. And uh, the thing is, sometimes that's the route you have to go in order to find enough product to scale your business. So either way, at least we're consistent, right? Going out making 600 bucks a day. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, go over to our website at orbradio.com and check out our free guide. It's everything I do from start to finish. There's no gimmicks. There's nothing. Just go check it out at orbradio.com. Check out our podcast and follow us on social media. We'd really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming along for the ride. I can't wait for episode three. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, question of the day, what is the most profitable product that you have ever found and sold on Amazon? Comment down below, and then also watch these videos. They're like right here-ish. Anyway, stay tuned for episode three.